ஒன்னும் by dividing by 8 bit number or by dividing by 16 bit number so if s is equal to 8 bit that means we are dividing some number with a 16 with a 8 bit number so what will be performed ax ax is data register ax so ax the 16 bit register that will be divided by this s8 or uh, s is equal to 8 bit right so we know that in division we will always have a question and a remainder so question of ax divided by s8 will go to al register and remainder of ax divided by asset will go to ah register right similarly there will be another case uh, which is possible right so if this source is a 16 bit number that means we are dividing a number by a 16 bit number so uh, we will be using dx comma ax for 32 bit numbers right uh, just to assume that uh, the number to be divided will always be greater than a divisor so dx comma ax will be providing the number and it will be divided by s16 so we know that there will be again question and remainder so question will go to ax register and remainder will go to dx register we will further elaborate this thing using an example in emulator environment so let's go to emulator 8086 okay now we are in EMU 8086 environment here, here and here we are going to test this div instruction or division instruction so i have taken some specimen examples let's say 5001 in decimal is divided by 25 decimals so result is question is 200 or 200 and remainder is 1 and we going to perform this instruction in uh, 8086 emulator environment uh, there will be an option i will be using converter converter just to convert number into Uh, decimal to, from decimal to hexadecimal so i'm using n sign numbers i'm going to use first of all 5001 so it is equal to what 1389 and that should be stored in what in ax register okay uh, let's let's store this number in ax register so move ax comma 1389 hertz okay and the next number should be let's say we are using some eight number eight bit number so bl comma 25d uh, okay let's change this number 25 because it's unsigned so in hexadecimal it will be simply 8 bit 19 hex okay so now i'm going to divide div bl that means what is going to perform on the back end ax will be divided with bl right so question will go to ah sorry question will go to Uh, al and uh, remainder will go to ah part right so let's uh, verify our results okay i'm going to uh, cross it and emulate the code single step 1389 is loaded in ax register 19 is loaded in bx register so i'm going to use this divide instruction now so i will be dividing it single step the result is 01 c8 let's verify this result uh, i have already done calculation uh, in decimal number system so question we expect is 200 and the question we are having in al is c8 so let's write c8 so we can see that it is 200 in decimal furthermore you can also verify your remainder 01 hex in of course 01 is the one so this means we are verifying our 8 bit result Uh, using same approach you can also use some 16 bit number let's say move dx comma 1004 hertz move ax comma 1004 hertz so the number the number we are going to divide is actually this dx ax which means 1004 1004 in hexadecimal it's a 32 bit number and we will be dividing it with some 16 bit number so div uh, 16 bit number let's say we store in cx comma 1234 hex so now we are dividing cx so what is going to happen uh, this division will be performed dx comma ax okay dx will be higher 16 bit 
and AX will be lower 16 bit. This complete number will be divided by CX, uh, CX, and result will be going, question will be going to what AX and remainder will go to DX. So let's test our result. I'm gonna emulate this code again. Okay, it says it's a wrong parameter. Okay, this keyword is basically wrong. So let's run this code again. Yeah, it's running single step. AX is load, DX is loaded, AX is loaded. And now when I execute CX value, CX value is also loaded. So I'm gonna execute now division instruction. So you can see that Q is basically E13D because that is the question E13D and you can verify this result by converging so using the same approach uh, converging from hexadecimal to decimal and the remainder is what remainder is stored in DX which is 05A0. I hope you have understand this division instruction. Still, if you have any confusion or query, you can post your queries and uh, confusions in comment section. I will try to answer them. Thank you so much for listening.